This NFL Props Week 9 edition of the Sports Game and Podcast is brought to you by Prize Fix. Go to prizefix.com slash SGPN and use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Plus, the MMA Gambling Podcast just launched their YouTube channel. To celebrate, we're giving away a MMA Gambling Podcast hoodie. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash MMA hoodie for all the details. This is Jerry Glanville. And you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride, brother. Into the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. There's a chance that people are not seeing our beautiful faces in HD right now. Oh, wow. Oh. Don't worry, I'm recording locally. <laughs> we will yeah, have little, our beautiful little, faces. A little though. blurry here. Uh, <laughs> you can take Spectrum. Join us here to talk NFL props, maybe even some ladders. CJ Sullivan, host of the Bottom Line Bombs, aka the man in the box. What's happening, CJ? Yes, thank you. Sean and Kramer Bomb in the box. I'm happy. I actually come across better uh, in standard definition. I'm not a <laughs> HD uh, broadcast. Well, Col- so. uh, unfortunately, Colby is not here uh, for the broadcast. He loves standard definition the yeah. way. <laughs> the way definition was supposed to be. None of this fancy right. high definition. I was actually going to ask if you could uh, just put some Vaseline on the lens of the camera you got going on me now, right now. Could, I do love that. That was like the, the old, definition. the old Hollywood trick, uh, putting some Vaseline on the uh, on the camera lens. We will be. Wait, uh, what does that do? I'm not. I'm not uh, a Hollywood guy. It's what? just. Uh, it. it it blurs it, it up. It, blur, a bit, it diffuses I mean. a little bit. Hides the original blur. Yeah, hides the blemishes. Yeah. Gets your imperfections away. You oh, know I, I mean? want everyone to see my perfections. Right. Oh yes, Ryan. Ryan. Uh, <laughs> well, I mentioned Colby. We will be talking uh, college basketball picks tonight. Another Ooh. double header. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Eight thirty Pacific. YouTube.com slash Sports Game Podcast. Smash that subscribe button. We might have some ladder talk. Lot to get to. Um, what do you mean, might? Well, you, all right. So Ryan, I was teasing the audience. We definitely <laughs> have some ladder talk. Uh, we also people get aggressive with the ladder stuff. I mean, we got, we got, <laughs> I did see someone uh, or ordered a, uh, also ordered a bird ladder yeah. and they sent us a photo of the bird ladder fan ladder chatter. Great. <laughs> uh, we got that. We Let's got, go. and of course, uh, check out the bonus breeders cup uh, episode of the podcast. That was a lot of fun. Great uh, real men of DGENs in that one, courtesy of uh, Malcolm. And we have a bonus uh, real men of DGENs as well. So it's, it's a high standard he set yesterday. This one's going to be, yeah, his was tough to beat. SGPN presents Real Men of DGENs. Real Men of DGENs. We salute you. Simple guy 6433 three on Reddit. Posted in the fantasy football advice uh, section, quote, guy in my league is offering Pollard for CMC and I get to bang his wife one time. Whoa. Guy in my league is three and five and desperate to turn his team around oh, and needs more consistency with running back. He sent me a text saying one CMC, but there's not really any on his team. I want, I'm yeah. currently seven and one don't need to make that change. He said I could bang his wife one time. If I accept the trade and it goes through, honestly, it's pretty tempting since she has huge tits and I've always fantasized about her. Wow. Is it worth throwing my chances to win the ship out the window for a chance to bang his wife? <laughs> I would say every trade you need to negotiate. That's just the first offer. Yeah. You get thrown out there. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. What's the counter, uh, right? Uh, uh, wife and uh, yeah. And 
Uh, yeah, wife and wife's friend. Like, how yeah. do you, how do you up the things? I, I bet you don't even have to throw McCaffrey in there. It sounds like he wants you to sleep with his wife. Yeah, uh, <laughs> generally okay. when someone, right. when, <laughs> generally when someone yeah. is offering that, right. you're doing them a favor exactly. by doing that. Yeah, that's that, that's a different kind of invite you got. <laughs> this, this is the Kramer. Kind of, well, this Kramer, starts. I, this is I, how forensic files start. Yes, sometimes. I read this to Kramer and he immediately said, "Bad value." <laughs> <laughs> well, not a plus EV opportunity. Yeah, is well, it a PPR league? Well, don't sell me on tits. I mean, I'm not right. trying. If you want, if there's one thing that changes about, I mean, at least for me, as I've gotten older, I like like tits are like some deck, like fucking holiday decor. Hmm. I, oh, it's not gonna. I love I love tits. Sure, they're awesome. But that's never gonna close a deal. <laughs> well, speak for yourself, Ryan. Speak for I mean, yourself. You guys are just making sound drops left well, and hold right on here. A I love tits. They're awesome. <laughs> they are. But, Come on. T- tits are a deal closer. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, deal wow. beginner. They're they're the well, no a deal beginner. I deal agree. beginner. Not deal closer. Deal, not a deal yeah. closer. During yeah. after bef- it, they're like, just like CJ saying. Open up your negotiations right. with tits. Don't close them with tits. <laughs> they, no, they are. They're the Christian McCaffrey of fantasy football. My What's mind. that? Wow. Tits, white and more athletic than you think. <laughs> very boomer attitudes. Very white. R- RB RB draft. Type, yes, I exactly. <laughs> I I keep it old school. Just give me the tits. All right, hey, we got uh, we got an amazing show for you, and of course, it kicks off like every show by announcing the official pizza of the Sports Gambling Podcast oh, everyone's Network. Favorite section. Drum roll! It is Little Caesars. Love Little Caesars. Not only is it the official pizza sponsor of Sports Gambling Podcast Network, it's also the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. It's also the official pizza sponsor of our YouTube chat. And why? Because of that delicious golden brown, buttery, salty pretzel crust that you can wrap around a giant, <laughs> large pepperoni pizza piled high with the delicious. Salty cured meat pairs perfectly with the pretzel crusts, which per- pairs perfectly with NFL Sunday, Thursday night football. We got you covered. Uh, Monday night football. You can order online during our pizza pizza pregame, one hour before and three hours after NFL kickoffs. Plus all day Sunday. Get the pizza. Get the wings. Get the uh, M M&M and M cookie dough brownie bites. They got it all, and it is all delicious. And of course, who could forget the four quarter cow? Zoni, a different type of meat to enjoy in each quarter. He could eat all the meats, and he does. Chat to you, Chris Berman, who I'm sure also loves uh, Little Caesars delivery or our in store pizza portal pickups to grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars pizza, pizza. Yes. Hold on, I was just adding a couple of these Detroit uh, gonna, style to my oh, car. Yeah, maybe that. we should bring Ryan. We always hang out with Detroit guys. Uh, Bilbo and Derek Stevens to start off our Vison show hmm. Friday night. True story. Why not? Well, maybe we should get a little Caesars for the studio. Bring uh, uh, that sounds. Uh, there's nice. a there's already a pizza that guy. In the st- I don't want to get in any pizza wars. <laughs> not gonna lie, that did sound that read a whole thing sounded I, sexier than Tony I'm Pollard's a, a, wife or whatever. <laughs> guys, well, I mean, I'd, I'd well, jump on that for the trade first <laughs> yes. before doing anything. Uh, if, yeah, I'll take the four quarter calzone. <laughs> Keep your wife. What else do you think this guy is offering his wife up for? Uh, I know. That's, that's the other thing. If, it, if it's being offered up in fantasy football, you gotta. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm guessing. This isn't high stakes. I feel like he just switched the message boards up. Like he he was he was logged into whatever fet life he's he was a, into. Well, he's, I, you know? They're probably in a swingers group. That's what and I mean. Also a right. fantasy football thing. So copy and paste. There, there is a kind of fantasy uh, or, or auction where where in, in FFPC where there's no limit to how much you bid, mm. and you just write the check and like the money goes into the pool or whatever. I, I, what's the price on a on a wife banging someone's wife then? Is yeah. that, are we talking about like a fifteen thousand dollar <laughs> player? Like, what's the buy into this? Right. League? Well, Robert Redford would a million for. <laughs> yes. uh, That's, I mean, let's for let's be honest. Me. Most that, wives. That's your ceiling. Most wives would be would. Like th- everyone would be cool with that kind of a range. No, of course. Million dollars. Yeah, wives, wives. That's a you know. You want to change your life? Right. <laughs> Eight minutes. All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna change your life with some sweet uh, NFL player props and the chat. The, the ladder chatter has already begun. I we got to save the ladder for last. We got to keep people. I mean, come on, uh, you, you save the ladder for last. You don't. Well, where you is don't. it on the rundown? I know it's probably hard to see. Oh, okay, uh, yes. I, but so <laughs> before before well, and right, we don't. I don't think we have Sunday night football. What do you mean we don't have Sunday night football? <laughs> Those are out. Bills, yeah. 
Oh, okay. Oh. I thought they were. Oh. Well, I thought we replaced this, the first yeah. touchdown oh, with th- the ladder. Oh, okay. I thought okay. That's, that's what we did last week. And I, uh, I'm happy to carry that. Segment people love you guys. It. Yeah. Since it's you know, got I, your niche anyway. I I could not imagine what right. would happen if the roles were reversed right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk about more football, Sean? No, I do. Oh, okay. I I thought they were uh, they weren't out last time when we taped the show uh, after Thursday mm. night football. I kind of just assumed I, that might have been game specific because of Bajan. Oh, and, okay. And, uh, Tyson Bajan, yeah, special Bajan seventeen. Still trying to figure that guy out. Speaking of Bajan, uh, let's start here. Darnell Mooney over twenty six and a half receiving yards. The uh, New Orleans Saints not great against the slot, and I imagine Marshawn Lattimore on mm. DJ Moore. The slot. How's the slot? And Darnell. Darnell Mooney has had some. He had 41 yards on uh, four targets last week against the Chargers, and it was just one catch for 41. I I think he has some upside in a dome game. We've seen the Saints shoot out with the the Colts, where there was a ton of back and forth. I kind of think this might be a, a a little bit of a shootout game. So I like the props in this game as well. So yeah, give me Darnell Mooney over uh, receiving yards. Uh, twenty six and a half feels pretty doable. Right. Nice, yeah, yeah. it's very nice. Uh, CJ, what do you got? First prop, what do you like? Um, <clears throat> I like to, uh, I like to, I like to piggyback off you guys. Like, you have a low, mm. a low rent receiver, not the same game, but like, oh, wow. I like to keep it the same genre. You know, I can. I'm Let's multi- do that. I can adapt there. So if you're gonna go, uh, I don't know, Mooney, which I like that one. Um, another terrible passing offense that has a chance this week. I mean, I I fall for them every week here. Uh, that I group. know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to that Green Bay Rams game, uh, and I'm going with Jaden Reed. Ooh, really? <sighs> Thirty-three and a half. Did I take it from you? No, I just the taste in my mouth. Yeah, you're I know. Getting, <laughs> getting on the Packers, watching wagon. them Packers. They're they're amazing. They've, there's an amazing stat. They scored nine points in the first five last five first halves. Like, what are they doing during yeah. the week? They come out, but this week's and now they're favored. I know by thirty-three and a half because the Rams are signing guys on the street. I mean, uh. Well, you you quizzed us before the show. You asked us what the Rams yeah. <laughs> backup quarterback right, was, right and I don't know. I came across this guy's name earlier in the week, and I don't know how I forgot it. But his name is Dresser Win. Dresser Win. I forgot it from <laughs> oh, the, the uh, Wizard of the Northlands. I forgot it from after I asked you the question and was <laughs> looking at the answer in the other room. By the time I walked over here, I forgot that name. Yeah, it sounds like Prices Price is right. Dresser right. Win. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. So I think Jordan Love. Has, you're buying as low as possible you can on Jordan Love and his <laughs> Packers passing offense. Yeah. Thir- Thirty-three and a half for Jaden Reed. Who is in, in the slot, but becoming his go-to guy and the, the main slot, guy over Watson and Dobbs. I think uh, all of them have a chance to hit their numbers. But I like Jaden Reed a lot. Two and a half is his reception total too. I think wow. I, I actually kind of like that more than the yardage, just because he is the slot and he will be uh, hit a lot there. Feels very bold to go to a Jordan Love receiver. <laughs> <this point. laughs> yeah. But with the rumblings coming out of the very public organization known as the Green Bay Packers, that. Jordan Love may not be the future. Oh wow! I <laughs> did not see that coming. They're putting it out there softly. Though. May not be the future. <laughs> still, maybe a little. Some That's, people in the building still undecided. That's Midwest parenting. They don't know how to coach <laughs> these guys, so they try to rally, you know, motivate well, them by like, you know, we're thinking about replacing you in three years. What do you think about that, Jordan? <laughs> Makes his uh, the dealy sign look pretty smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Got that guaranteed cash <laughs> for next year. Hey, there was a reason uh, I didn't bet on myself. I right. suck. <laughs> Great negotiation. Appreciating Jordan it, Love, it's, yeah, it's, but it's 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 looking like it's a great business move. So, oh yeah, one hundred percent. Good on him. All right, you ready for this, Sean? I'm this ready. One, this one's very obvious to me. Shocked, uh, narrative driven as well. Jonathan Taylor over sixty four and a half rushing yards. Mm. Went over this in the first half last week, then somehow w- was left from the game. There was speculation that he was hurt, Sean. Hmm. Uh, I I don't know what's going on. But the way that you fix this kind of mistake, your Gardner, if Gardner Minshew is your quarterback and you're in a situation where you you you're in a winnable game against the Panthers, give the ball to Jonathan Taylor. Carolina JT. 30, 30 second in defensive uh, rush DVOA, thirty second in adjusted line yards on defense. This should be the point that they can bull. They should be able to bully this defense, unlike some of the better defenses they've played in the last couple of weeks. Uh, love Jonathan Taylor here. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I still do. We get any sort of answer why he didn't? Why he only had one carry in the they second? They fucked up. Yeah. All right. 
No, no, I mean it did it, it No, I mean I, I think the there was like some people were thinking, yeah. hey, maybe it was an injury thing. We couldn't really get a great uh answer on that. Jim Ursay uh, went straight to Shane's office and said, Hey, <laughs> that high priced motherfucker that I had right, to pay yeah. all that money to. That was a huge embarrassment that dragged yeah. on. We, that ke- was- we keep dropping Zach Moss off in the woods and he keeps coming back. <laughs> we can't get rid of this guy. He's it's like the dog you can't right. get rid of. Yeah, he follows he knows the way back to the dome. Well, he's he's clearly the coach's pet <laughs> in this situation. But yeah. We're going uh, Taylor, saw, Taylor massive game. I mean, he had a massive first half. He's Jonathan I mean, this Taylor, is, this is and he's Jonathan Taylor. Free square. He's still, yeah. Right. I mean, he still has a bunch left still, in the tank. Well, they just paid him. Kicking over to the Ravens game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Lamar Jackson, good matchup on mm-hmm. the ground against this Seattle defense. They've struggled a little bit with mobile quarterbacks. We mentioned that on, on the pick show, but I think mm-hmm. even over 39 and a half rush yards feels very doable uh, for Lamar Jackson. And then. Is it Gus Edwards uh, dealing with the toe thing as well? He's back in practice, but uh, they still haven't really figured out what to do with the running back situation. I'm surprised they haven't uh, they haven't like traded for someone. No, Keaton Mitchell, he's coming. No, I mean like for a team that loves running the ball, they they really haven't. I I mean, I would have tried trading for Miles Sanders, even just giving up like like I guess. You know, giving up something. Uh, Why? Like Miles Sanders pick. sucks. That's also true. I, it just feels like they should have done something at running back. Either way, I, I think it's a great opportunity for Lamar. Yeah. Over 39 and a half rush yards. I think he gets loose. Yeah, I'm, I'm also on this one. Um, you stole it right from my notes because Dobbs, he went over his total 43 yards on only four carries. Uh, PJ Walker went over his total with 27 yards on six carries, and Dan Jones went over his total 10 carries, 66 yards. So. Woo. All the mobile guys have gotten over on yes, Pete sir. Carroll and his defense. Ten for sixty-six for Danny Dunn. And that was a. Nice. I mean, if you remember, that was a really, really bad game for Dan Jones. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll co-sign that. Lamar, th- this number is really. I don't know how they're making this number. Don't know where they're coming up with this number. Yeah, I, what, what I'm gonna. The- I'm gonna also be on the attempts when that comes out. Um, Case in uh, in the YouTube chat wanted to know Ryan, what are the Giants going to be doing at tight end with Waller out? Any interesting props there? Maybe a Bellinger nope. anytime no, touchdown. Why, why, why are you asking me that? Because the listener asked. I don't. I Who's honest- this Case in Hightower? <laughs> Is the listener Is this your burner? <laughs> Is this what you're doing over there in the show? No, when you're, not, no, when you're typing well, away over no, there. No, I if if it was me, I would mention the mustache bet. Uh, and I'm how just saying the way that this sentence was even structured, almost like they're in the room. <laughs> Crame, what are the streets saying about Giants tight end room without Waller? Uh, again, uh, he Waller still in the tight end room. Right. Secondly, uh, will be interesting to see if they bring back Lawrence Cager, but no, uh, Bellinger will be out there probably doing block the blocking stuff. So I wouldn't I wouldn't look to back oh, any really? any of the Giants. No tight, tight end stuff. I mean, you can maybe get cute and talk about any time, but no, I I don't think Daniel uh, Bellinger is one of the highlights on the uh, Giants if, NFL slot machine that you get to see. It is true, and we do like Daniel Can't Bellinger's dad. He he, uh, as soon as they traded for Waller, he <laughs> said, like, well, "Wait a second, it's uh, they already got a starting tight end." Yeah, don't not so fast. Uh, if you ask my opinion on on Giants props, I would look to Barkley. Uh, he's going to catch a lot of passes in this Dog. game against the Raiders. I'm not. I'm not giving you a Giants prop though. Okay. That's not what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm co-signing your Lamar angle. <laughs> so it's a good angle. Uh, if you want to take to your burner account and ask oh, me yeah. questions through the chat, that's cool. <laughs> CJ, but CJ well, can give out a. We shouldn't bring up the Giants. It it it, it ends up triggering Ryan. And he gets real angry. Uh, CJ. Well, that's, no, Sean's you just shouldn't have said, You shouldn't have said that. But <laughs> Hightower commented, and CJ, you know me. You know I, I like the narrative. I like the segue. I, that's all. As a comic, it's all about segues yes. and you, transitions. You do need to know that when when there's a catastrophic injury to yeah. the Eagles, all right? This man's been putting all this injury karma. What in do you mean? Just, what, just, just, what? I want I want CJ to know that. Oh, I, geez, I, hand I, up. Let's make sure he's saying we. Faded, when he I Lord. faded Darren Waller because of performance. I don't even want to put that out there, but it's yeah. already out there. I won't yeah. put the name to that. That's but fine. I'm going to give out a Saquon Barkley. Oh, here we go. Prop. <laughs> His total is only 70, 75 and a half rushing yards. Jameer mm. Gibbs just he did he. I mean, come on, like knife through butter through that Raiders rush defense. They're abs- absolutely I mean, did anything he wanted, even when they're just trying to ground the clock nine, ten yards a pop. And of course, Daniel Jones back. The offense will be a little more 
balanced. I think you know with it. it it's a crazy. I oh, love that. I love, a I love everything about that game. I do think I both, love. I love that. I just love how they're still underdog to a team that has no offensive coordinator, <laughs> <laughs> fired coach, Antonio Pierce. Nope. Talk about NWA. These are all great points. Yeah, I, I love it. I was actually inspired by Antonio Pierce's. Yes, no, you I weren't. was born a Raider. No, you I grew up right? in South LA. Mm-hmm. I was rocking the, the silver and gold. Yeah. I was. I was waiting my entire life for this. I thought it was a pretty good speech. <laughs> You're I'm being right honest. Uh, yeah, he said about, he had a hype man next to him. Yeah. What was looked, going on? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, you, you, are I you mean, being serious right now? That yeah. didn't feel incredibly like like awkwardly yes. fake. It had a very Jeff Saturday feel to it Dude, where they're gonna the, win this game the exact, and then, then be shit the bed the rest of the way. That was the exact comparison I was gonna make. The Antonio yeah. Pierce. Rah rah, right. like emotion. But Antonio Pierce at least was on the team. Yeah, he got at least promoted. he was on the staff. He didn't come from. Uh, he didn't come the from Jeff Bristol. Saturday, doing hot uh, takes. Promotion was one of the all time by Ursa. Right. But I do think I think they he has one game where yeah. they run through a brick wall and then. Uh, the I rest still like Saquon really to go way over that seventy five and a half. Though, by the way, you know. Oh, what? Yeah, I mean, I, I Antonio Pierce won uh, you know a Super Bowl with the Giants. Antonio yeah. Pierce was never someone that needed to be at the, on the mic. That, that was that's kind of, that was kind of my take on that, and I'm I'm still shocked that that he's the man they chose. He's mm. the man now, dog. Hey, uh, shout out to Prize Picks. Have you signed up with Prize Picks yet? What are you waiting for? Prize Picks, super fun. You can win twenty five extra money. Are you kidding? Uh, for football season, and also fun for. Uh, a little basketball action. Hashtag Dejans only. As well, uh, Prize Picks allows you to do some cross sport combos. So you can do, uh, you know, uh, what do you got? Uh, Joel Embiid and uh, Dallas Goddard. Little uh, Philly special mm-hmm. there. Uh, Prize Picks. Uh, this is uh, really cool. They're the only DFS platform that offers the reboot policy. So. If one of your players gets injured, which I would never wish injury on anyone in the National Football League, dangerous game enough uh, without the injuries. Uh, but uh, football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Uh, Price Picks only platform that allows it. Again, it's super easy to play, more or less. You guys know how it goes with some of your favorite fantasy stats. Uh, we just did one on the Die Hard Eagles uh, podcast. You'll never guess uh, what our more and less is were. Uh, you'll have to tune in. But again, uh, make sure you check out Prize Picks. Go to prizepickscom SGPN. Use code SGPN for a first deposit match up to one hundred dollars. PrizePicks.com slash SGPN. Code SGPN. Prize Picks. Daily fantasy sports made easy. Kramer got some more props here. Do you want to go next? You want me to go? How are we feeling? Uh, you can go now. I do appreciate their offer. I I will opt out of the insurance. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they. I think they give it to you, right? Oh, I don't think you uh, can refuse the reboot policy. I appreciate it. Give I'll it to take, someone else. I'll take. Needs it. <laughs> yeah, please. I want like the turkey policy around Thanksgiving. Who needs that emotional crutch? I don't need this extra turkey. Uh, speaking of turkey, this guy gonna get you some turkey. Is, is Turkey another word for cash? I feel like it's got to yeah. be at some point. <laughs> yeah. Or your wife, or his <laughs> wife's tits. Well, they talk. Yeah, they talk turkey. Yeah, you talk turkey when you're talking money. You can you can get turkey. Mm-hmm. This man's about to secure the turkey, aka the turducken, gobble, aka gobble. the football. Give me Jake Bobo back to the Jake Bobo <laughs> well. Amazing name. Anytime touchdown plus six fifty. Uh. Tyler Lockett dealing with that hamstring issue. Are you kidding me? Jake Bobo, he's had uh, he's had two touchdowns past couple of games. Like I, I, I like the way he runs some crisp routes. Uh, Gino likes him in the red zone. Amazing touchdowns, dude! That one yeah, pass is incredible. I mean, it was a great. Uh, put it this way: Gino trusts to trust him in the red zone and in the end zone. Plus six fifty feels like a crazy price for a guy that could see some pretty good snap share if uh, Lockett doesn't end up playing. Now the Thursday practice reports aren't out yet, but. He was a DNP on Wednesday. Is this now, the same injury as last week, though? Which one? The hamstring. Tyler Lockett. Yeah, it might be. Because if if so, his pattern has been DNP limited, limited go. Yeah. Well, so. still, Jake Bobo clearly a part of the offense. Maybe you catch a break and uh, Lockett reaggravates that hamstring. This is probably priced 
obviously with the idea that Locker Lockett's going to be a full go. Yeah. yeah, DK Metcalf's been uh, banged up. I mean, you know, he had a good percentage of the snap share. So uh, I, I, I love your, I love how this. And is they your even guy give him. They, he scored on a rushing touchdown uh, last game, receiving touchdown before. If they're drawing up design runs for him, that means they. That's oh. a guy they're trying to get touchdowns. You it's, know, Pete Carroll loves this guy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like Kadarius Tony. You can either say, "Why are they giving the ball to this guy?" Or you can just play his touchdown bets and and cash in. I mean, I'm surprised at six fifty. It's crazy. Did he go to Georgia too? Uh, Bobo wasn't he UCLA, right? He's UCLA. I think so. He's not related to Mike Bobo. I'm trying to say. Uh, I that's a great question. We're, Let, I'd, be, I'd be very. Oh, old. I fucking nailed it. UCLA. Nice. You I know. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, no, he's just well super. Done. He's a slow white guy. That's why Sean. He's a white angle there. release. Yeah. <laughs> I, he doesn't create white angles though. I'm pretty no, sure. He, yeah, that's true. He's only he's a he's a white possession yeah. guy. He's yeah. more of a. Uh, <laughs> He's a, he's an accurate. Yeah. Uh, and you can also just little I have up close scouting for you. Uh, Gunner Oleski or whatever his name mm -hmm. is. Not, also not a white angle guy. Well, and right. he it's no white angles. Did, did and someone, doesn't even do the white stuff yeah, like he's catch in the, the ball. Yeah, he's in the Renfro category, the third uh, third and Bobo, third and yeah. Renfro. Third and yeah. Bobo. Did uh did anyone sign him? Uh I think he'll hey, there's a chance he's back. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm it seems not. like that was just contract, like kind of it, stuff. Scout team, it, yeah. They go back to the back practice up. squad. Oh, okay. Maybe you call. You get four. He did call great. Ups. He didn't fumble a punt. No, he fumbled. Did he? Oh. It didn't <laughs> count as a fumble because he was mind. out of bounds. Like, yeah, he. No, he the ball hit the turf. It was. I mean, once again, the curse. It's happening. My next prop, Sean. Yeah, what do you got? <laughs> we used to be. We. I mean, I feel like we spent a full season being interception prop. Yes, specialist. we did dabble. Mm. Geno Smith over a half interceptions, only minus one ten, Sean. But we we that's crazy. Typically, again, we've discussed this. You have the the top of the ladder, which is the when Zach Wilson was getting priced between minus two twenty and two fifty, <laughs> which we, you re, that you're never going to see that again, probably. Uh, and then you have like the normal, like holy crap, these guys are probably throwing a pick minus one sixty to minus two hundreds. Gino, uh, we, we were just talking about this. Sean Gino has been loose with the ball. Five interceptions in the last three games. Interceptions in four of his last five games, and the Giants dropped a couple in the game that he didn't throw yeah. the pick. I'm shocked this is minus one ten against the number one passing defense in the NFL and the Baltimore Ravens. <laughs> I'm just laughing. This uh, is a lot. This is an uh, NFL Mo side bet. Moyaxi in the chat saying, "Boys, hurry up! I'm stuck in a tree and I need a ladder." Okay, okay, we'll speed it up. <laughs> right, it's, right, it's, it's, it's building up. It's so building yeah, up. Yeah, you know, rush the ladder. Yeah, no, I, come on. I got plenty of wood over here for a ladder. We're good. <laughs> it's we're creating tension. There's shoots and there's ladders. I, I like. Uh oh, oh, I like. Uh, oh, maybe oh, I that's like that. maybe that's what we call it because we were we were figuring out what the opposite is yeah. Yeah. of like fading someone. We've dabbled with mind shit. Roller no, like coaster, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah. yeah, shoot shoots and is, ladders. Shoots is, is how old it. is that game? Maybe we can get the uh, rights for cheap. <laughs> Just steal I mean, it for the our... I mean, it's a ladders. classic, but you're right. Shoots and ladders, player prop edition. It's under the umbrella <laughs> of all of them. It's like Procter and Gamble. CJ, what do you got for a prop? Um, I'm gonna go for an, I like, I like an old fashioned revenge angle, which which is always it always plays well with yes. the listeners and with the show here. And this is the the revenge game of this week. They'll over there and. Uh, in Germany, Tyree kill. Oh no. Oh yeah. Where's I feel Kansas like we City? didn't talk revenge angle Ryan on the show. We did not at all. Yeah. And Tyree kill. Of course he wanted Kansas city to be bad without him. He used to tweet out like the, you know, the first game, look how terrible their offense is. And they won the super bowl. He couldn't say much, even yeah. though, and, but it's, it's kind of funny how they're still great Kansas city, but they really have no receivers that do anything. Imagine for if they, they had an alpha receiver. I mean, like it's Tyree amazing. Kill. Right. It's incredible. Um, so here, his numbers are, of course are big. It's Tyree kill. Uh, six and a half, 90 and a half, 27 and a half for longest reception. I like over six and a half receptions of those three more because I think Andy Reed is obviously aware of what Tyreek Hill can do and will do anything to bracket to keep it underneath. And yeah, and I think they will take what they give them, you know, and it'll be a lot of just 15 yard, 20 yard, 12 yard, whatever and hitches and Tyreek Hill is not afraid to do that. And I think he'll fly over six and a half receptions. It's oh, amazing yeah. how fast he is volume. Yeah, thing. it really is like when he's like a the fact that he can get now that they have all that tracking data and you can watch like mm -hmm. how open he gets, right? He makes other elite athletes just look like children. Yeah, and you see everyone the teams that are doing well. It is just all speed, like Detroit the other night. It was just pure speed out there. 
Yeah, they gotta they gotta bring back the loud and dudes to hit each other. <laughs> That's how we're gonna cut That's down. True. On all this it is. It's flag football. All this I see speed. cereal in the chat trying to get down on a Jalen Hurts interception prop. Don't Whoa. waste your time on that cereal. Instead, wow. uh, head over to Rain Dakota Prescott and play his interception <laughs> prop over a half. Minus one forty five. I'm I'm looking at my notes here as to why I would play this. Mm. Uh, and it's just a big Dallas sucks. Yeah. Go birds. He slapped in honey this week too, isn't he? <laughs> yes. They yeah. Uh the Jerry Jones said he doesn't want to poke the bear. And meanwhile, he's uh he's loaded up on uh Dak goes, Who's well, the bear in Dak this goes, case? give me the honey. Yeah. Do you mean what are you talking oh, about, no. Dak? Do you you what are are that? you also trying to trade for Christian McCaffrey? What no, kind no, no. of he weird wants situation the, he, is he that? wants the honey because he, he heard Heard it's good for his skin. <laughs> he's, he's straight for his complexion. He's working off that uh, that tattoo. Four interceptions in the last three games, and when he goes mm-hmm. up against good defenses on the road, uh, he struggles, and uh, that's the situation he's facing here. Uh, Threw three picks against the San Francisco 49ers. Birds get up for this game. Jalen Carter pressuring him in the face, uh, forcing some errant throws by Dakota Rain Prescott. Give me over half an interception. Nice. I, I like how you crowbarred that one in. No, well, I at minus one forty five, and uh, they ca- they can't make this thing high enough. I'm all in. All right, Kramer, what do you got? Uh, uh so I've uh, well, this is my fourth. Patrick Mahomes coming off a bad game. Patrick Mahomes coming oh, off yeah. uh illness. Patrick Mahomes in a situation where him and his coach are being threatened. For their spot atop the we're the best fucking offense in the league crown. They generally get up for these games, Sean, whether it's the Bills, uh, the Burrows, and in this case, the Tuas. There's no fucking way Andy Reid, a football guy, wants to lose to this fucking twerp. <laughs> <laughs> go go get that pa- pump pass and kick video. Right. Yeah, let's, yes. just play, let's put McDaniel's head on one of those yeah. kids' bodies. And Andy Reid's funnier. You see McDaniel's bomb oh, wow. in that press conference oh, yeah. when he came but, out. There. Well, the Germans, uh, you got to watch right. out with the sarcastic yeah. humor around, around the Germans. <laughs> it might not fly over right. super well. Reid's so, a real comedic actor. I think you're putting this game. I, I know you might think there's some advantages in the run game, and that's probably what Fangio is going to want you to like. He'll scheme up to look you into, but you're putting this ball in Mahomes' hands and he's going, he's flying over. You want to play 37 and a half attempts? That's fine. You want to play 26 and a, and Show a half time Mahomes. completions? <laughs> Show time Mahomes. That's, so good. that's also <laughs> fine. Uh, look, he, he's gone over basically in all the games that weren't uh delightful blowouts or the jets game. So bears, you take the bears and the jets out of it. He's flown over these totals in, in basically every game. Uh, even last week, he didn't go over the completions, but went over the attempts in, in a dreadful game. Uh, I think everyone expects this game to have a little bit of shootout potential. I don't give a shit about the weather. Go research how they build soccer stadiums over there. And on the slippery turf, who do you think that it, that's the advantage to? You don't think Kelsey is just going to destroy the middle no, of this field? Yeah, they're going to have think trouble. Tyree Kill is going to get loose, like like CJ was stating. I think this is a clear over spot, and the, the, my favorite way to play it is Patrick Mahomes over twenty six and a half completions. Hmm. It, but it, some people like the attempts better, so I wanted to include that. But I, I'll officially go with completions. And you mentioned Kelsey Goddard had a nice game against the Dolphins, five for seventy seven and a touchdown. So I, you can't. You'd uh, imagine Kelsey could eat, but it's his reception prop is seven and a half. Yeah, just to that's put kind that of in perspective. Right. But when he has fifteen, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well that's right. what Fangio is gonna do. He's gonna allow that to be there. Yeah. And Ramsey being back probably doesn't matter, but I think they're gonna put Ramsey on Kelsey, and so. Oh, okay. Wouldn't wouldn't be surprised if we saw some random receiver have a huge game this weekend. Yeah, it feels like a lot of yards Stay after tuned. the catch stuff. Uh, CJ, what do you got here? First Props. of all, Kramer, I love a prop that has a uh, homework assignment too. I can't, oh, I, I yeah. can't, I can't wait to do some research Inve- on. Yeah, investigate how, the yeah. German stadium. How well, they, how they construct soccer stadiums? Well, no, I'm serious. I specifically, want to specifically. Some- I don't think the wind is got. The wind is in the forecast, and I've seen other places, even smart, mm. sharp places, talk about the weather. It's not. I don't think it's going to have any impact. Okay. No wind impact. Mm. Well, I'll segue off yours. You were no, with Patrick nice. Mahomes, is probably the greatest best quarterback in the NFL. It's hard to argue that. To so possibly the second one after this week, and it's Jaron Hall. 
<laughs> out there for uh, Minnesota. Uh, you, got, you totally got me. That yes, was sir. <laughs> no relation to Tamron Hall. Uh, he started having his first start. He's going to have Josh Dobbs as a mentor on the sideline, That's not ready awesome. to play. That's Mentoring awesome. one in offense. He hasn't even picked up yet. <laughs> he knows it, though. It knows it better than Jaron Hall. Going against Taylor Hankey, of course. Uh, a lot of variables led to the uh, benching of Desmond Ritter. <laughs> you mean oh, the man. concussion? That right. Arthur Smith press conference. <laughs> Amazing. Variables. Was, there's a lot of variables <laughs> that went into the decision. And uh, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Oh, was his play, the reporter, was his play part of the re- the reason? There's a lot of variables. <laughs> right. There's we a lot need of to variables. Know. I have a bet on first quarterback to be benched non injury. Yeah. I mean, this needs to be out there. It's not uh, him. So he, see, just say it's a concussion. He's Billy Madison. Let's be honest. He's, <laughs> he's, he's way angrier than Billy Madison. Yeah. His parents. He's not. He's not celebrating nudie magazine right. man, thinking these guys are penguins. No, this he's, is he's this on is full this tilt. is when Billy Mad- Billy went back to school and had to deal with all the bullshit of school. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so Hall is a very good athlete out of BYU. He's very remote, dual threat, mobile, and uh, RG three loves him. Just yeah. close your eyes and picture Taysom Hill. He's tweeting me right, absolutely. Slightly darker complexion. Yeah, a little darker complexion, which makes which which always makes him a threat when you come out of BYU. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, this guy's seen some shit. Which uh, we yeah. just learned. Soaking's all <laughs> right. bullshit. We, yeah. we just learned that on game day. So, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. It turns out they have sex. So he goes from pro right to soak. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he goes from Provo to Minnesota. You know, he's not exactly lost. Now he's going down to Atlanta. He's gonna feel a little more welcomed down there. If you, you know what I mean, and, but it's gonna be tough. First start and rookie quarterbacks, what they do? They're gonna he's gonna rely on his legs, I believe. So I like his 100%. rushing props. I love his rushing props, which haven't come out yet, but whatever it is, I love it. Yeah, he, he's gonna be so bummed that he's not gonna be able to get Chick Fil A. Yeah. <laughs> but I did see his anytime touchdowns is out. Oh, and plus four fifty for oh, one touchdown. Go. And Minnesota, obviously, Alexander Madison's not the guy down there. Cam Akers maybe be able to sneak one. You know, rushing, but I think it, I I can definitely see him uh, taking it and uh, two touchdowns. If you want to get frisky, is thirty six to one. Well, and CJ, I'm going to pivot off, right off that. I love the Jaron Hall angle. Mm-hmm. These rookie. Can I court- ask a quick question? Sure. I mean, that that all, we should point out that that's going to be a, a fire first touchdown spot. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, that, Stay tuned pro- for the Veasan show. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> Friday night. We'll yes. Be talking about this. Okay. I, I have a feeling, <laughs> or we might be talking more about this gentleman. Special Bajent oh, seventeen, wow. oh, Tyson wow. Bajent. He has played. Uh, let me co- let me confirm this. Let's do it. Confirm away. Uh, I want to make sure I get this right because it seems like a it seems like a pricing error. And Ryan, no, as a as a as a market guy, you you got to be talking uh, pricing. So let's see. Tyson Bajent. He's played in three NFL games. Now he didn't start okay. against the Vikings, but he did come in uh, relief. All right. So he's he's played in three games. How many rushing touchdowns does he have? One. Two. He has two I, I knew rushing that. touchdowns on nine carries. What are we talking about? <laughs> and his anytime touchdown price plus seven fifty against the against the Colts uh, against the Saints defense. Wow. That that really uh, I mean Gardner Minshew probably should have had one. I think he like tripped uh, over his over his own ankle. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had a, yeah. I mean, like, what are we talking about? I'm pulling up his, he, he should have had a touchdown in that game, but they, I mean, again, saints, you are going to have opportunities. It's in a dome. I don't, I wouldn't be surprised this game gets out of hand. Bajan, you know, broken play quarterback sneak design, little boot action. Two, you love saying boot action. Sean. Yeah. Boot action, two touchdowns on nine carries. I love it. Plus 750, and also, uh, I'll just get to it. My DJs only. Hashtag DJs only. Tyson Bajan, two touchdowns, 64 to 1. Wow. And if you want to put in Bears' money line to that, I, I'm not going to stop you. Oof. You were teasing the audience, and now everyone just has. I just everyone unloaded. just made a mess. <laughs> I just incredible. unloaded. Everyone when to come. just made Have a Mooney mess. get you down there, and Bajan punch <laughs> it in. Just, oh, wow. And case in uh, Hightower saying Bajan, 28 to 1 for first touchdown. That's uh pretty fun as well, uh, but yeah, uh, Steve works throwing out the uh, name T bag. Um, I can see that. I can see that. We'll see. Maybe I, maybe if I, he doesn't get the touchdown, I'm mad. I'll call him T bag. T uh, bag seems like a mean name, not yeah. a, not a nice name. Well, bag. Anytime you call someone a bag, is generally not a compliment. Kramer, what's uh, prop number five? Seattle 
is heading to Baltimore. Mm, true. Seattle has not played well against the tight end. And Mark Andrews yeah, is crushing in spite of only getting consistently four catches a game. His rece- reception prop is four and a half. So I'm going to stay away from that. I do think there's a chance for him to get loose here, though. You look at his last five games four for 40, four for 63, four for 69, six for 65, five for 80. He's only gone under what his yardage total is once in those five games, 50 and a half receiving yards. This is the last game of a three game NFC uh, stance for the the Ravens. And like, the last game you can almost chuck out because they were blowing out the, the they kind of mailed it in. I, yeah. They mailed it in like the Rams mailed it in. And so a little bit of a bounce back here for Andrews in a positive spot, a uh, team that's def- definitely going to be looking to uh, clog up the run on the Ravens. So Mark Andrews over 50 and a half receiving yards. Oh. Ding, ding motherfuckers. Ding, ding chicken uh, these, dinner. These are pretty fire. Someone sent me a message. Hey dude, you only, you're, you're taking a lot of overs and props. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like hope overs are fun. I like hope. I mean, we could talk about unders all day long, but come on, overs. Go listen to the fucking nerds right. if you read want. The, read the blog if you want. I mean, we haven't given out this one is, shoot all year. That's no, what, you right. know why? Because we like the ladder. Yeah, the ladders are coming. Read you the blog if you, you want. You can't under. rescue a cat going down a slide. It's just simple math. <laughs> the view is horrible from right. the basement of the building. If a cat gets in the sewer, it stays there. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go down there with it. I'll drop a rope down. That's about it. CJ, what do you like? Uh, okay. Maybe a little chalk revenge with Tyree Kill, and I'm gonna do the chalk pouty game, and that's Devontae Ooh. Adams and that uh, Vegas oh, yeah. Giants. Now, are you are you playing catches or yards? I'm going to. Get, this is uh, I like yardage here. Okay. I think uh, I, I'm not afraid. I think I'm not afraid of O'Connell's. O'Connell's got a live arm. He like can go deep. He and and he's gonna want to prove he can do the deep ball that Jimmy Garoppolo cannot do. Um, kind of like how DeAndre Hopkins got in Levis's year. You know, first start. Yeah. Like, hey kid, I'm the guy you want to throw the ball. Don't throw it to anyone else but me. It does feel like that's, to that's probably why Mick Lombardi got fired. Yeah. The, the no right. completions to a receiver, <laughs> no completions to Devonte Adams. Yeah. Now I don't know how much of that is is his fault, the OC for the Raiders, and how much Jimmy G's mm-hmm. fault. I was watching a Baldy breakdown on that fourth uh. and two play. Josh Jacobs is dead. Like. Four yards wide open, and Jimmy G like just—it's <laughs> like he was annoyed that he was wide open, and then just <laughs> forces it downfield. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, oh, it was so great, uh, uh, Baldinger with his dramatic. He's and, a star, uh, by the way. Oh, he's, I, who saw that come? Baldinger. Baldinger? Oh, yeah. I love him. And he just goes, and a wo- he ends it all dramatically. His clip, he goes. And a wounded duck ends up on the floor <laughs> of Ford Field. He was like a nature documentary. It was great. Uh, we need to get Baldy on more games. Yes, we'll figure that. We out, need to guys. get Baldy on the show. I'm, I'll follow up on. Oh that. yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, so as everyone giving out their props, and then I jumped ahead with the DJs only. Okay. But wow, you really went out of order because I, I was just I was just getting my ladder into position. Oh, you're right. You're right. We, it's all right though. No, let's I mean, what if you we'll, skip the ladder? What kind of outrage would have been in the chat? <laughs> like what we're gonna skip. So we we agree. Yeah, so we're all done. Wait, we're we're are gonna, we gonna do DGENs and ladder or no, ladder. We're gonna, we're gonna do ladder first. Okay. We're, ladder first. Before we do that, shout out to Hall of Fame bets. Love Hall of Fame bets. We got some DJ and parlays coming up. And you look at the uh the parlay optimizer, it it loves Tyson Bajan because <laughs> He's only played th- in three games. Two of them, he got a rushing touchdown. So you can imagine uh, the implied probability of him to continue that streak. Hall of Fame bets is just great, especially if you're looking at at someone sets. How many times have they gone over 35 yards? How many times have they uh, caught five uh, receptions? It's so easy to sort through all the stuff you're looking to play on these player prop parlays. You can also look teams, game lines. Uh, they get you covered for NFL and for the NBA DGENs as well. Good times. Uh, stop betting in the dark and join over thirty thousand users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data-driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get fifty percent off your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. Kramer, do you want to give out your ladder first? Oh, yeah. We're uh, obviously saving CJ's ladder. Well, for last. real quick before you guys do start, and this has been great coming on here every week and bring oh, the well, ladder chatter. Like we're about to have a serious base. conversation. It's not, not a serious conversation. I just want to enhance the ladder, keep going up the ladder, up the rungs, and help you guys in your Vegas. Oh, 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 you oh, with your own oh, ladders. Wow. 
Right back I, to uh, PetSmart did, for round four. I, same guy said, yeah, I still don't own a bird, but I would like two more. Please. I did sense two a, more ladders, please. I, se- I sense the sentimental uh, yeah. element oh, here. Wow. Yeah, well, it was a little sentimental for him. Now sure. we got ladders for the set, too. This yeah, is this is beautiful. great. You can bring them to Vegas. You can keep them here, whatever you want to do. Oh, wow. CJ, this is great. I mean, that's a nice ladder. Now yes. I'm traveling Coast to Vegas notes. with a humidifier yeah. and, a, <laughs> and a bird ladder. For some reason that, yeah, they have a bird photo on here. What do we do? Right. right. They do have the bird Look photo. Oh, oh, I got, I got a serious duct tape on mine. Up. Yeah. Oh, good. perfect. Wow. Look at that. that, that, that is awesome. Now I'm jealous. I got to do this while I'm talking. All right. <laughs> you can hang no, your. No, right, we got to sure. we got we to let CJ go first while I'm ripping my ladder out. Oh, well, I'll go first. I'm confident no one's taking my guy. Get the ladder out. I love crazy I, I mentioned him uh, on one of my props. Well, why not? Why not just? Keep, <laughs> why not keep going up with the ladder? Uh, Darnell Mooney, thirty-seven. Yeah. I'll just highlight some some that I just uh, fired on uh, randomly here, over on the the old sports like thirty-seven yards plus one hundred eight. He can get that in one catch. Fifty-seven yards plus three twenty-five. Sixty-seven yards plus five thirty-five. And Darnell Mooney to record over 97 yards. So it doesn't even have to get to a oh, hundred yards. And we're talking about, let me get this straight. 21 to one, 21 55. What? Love Darnell Mooney. He's got the speed. Lattimore is going to be on DJ Moore. Just feels like a great spot for him. I'm loving all the ladders and the, uh, the ladder emojis in the chat. They're you know, fun. This is, this is where the streamers would be like, smash the emojis. <laughs> <laughs> Just like kids like spamming the ladder button. Yeah, we should a- make it. A, we should sell some premium ladder emojis in Discord, mm. Sean. We should figure out like a way that. to get that. Some he has, and uh, Darnell Mooney has four games over 120 yards. It's funny. It, he doesn't have any. In the history of Darnell Mooney's uh, career, he has no games between 100 and 120. Basically, if he gets over 100, he's going to get 120. So, see if they can even add an extra rung. Right now, I'm only seeing 97 uh, yards, but who knows? Oh, keep climbing that. Mooney Maybe no. closer to kick. Yeah, he breaks off one. How many? Up. How many? Uh, yeah, I mean, they they you generally start adding a couple more at the top. Mm-hmm. All right, nice line. Grover, Grover the dog saying the sports gambling podcast year end reviews must be close, buttering us up with these beautiful <laughs> ladders, CJ. I just like to spread the ladder so, chatter out oh, there. No, Don't get mad at the ladder. So how many? How many? How many? <laughs> it, do, it doesn't matter. It yeah, don't matter. It, it don't matter. Play the ladder. <laughs> how many rungs? How many rungs did you play? How many steps did you play? Me? Yeah. Uh, I think I did five. Okay. I just gave out four. But again, you can you can do the math on how high. I think him scoring 100 receiving yards is uh, 21 to one. I like those chances. Uh, I think this game could get out of hand. I was reading the chat and it's, it starts by saying, "Where can I purchase?" And I thought someone was going to ask about the ladder, but all, they were actually asking about your uh, the ticker on the set. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I think it's called. Um, that's like an Instagram ad, right? That, yeah, that, that's popped up on my feed a few times. Uh, it's pretty good. It's C I D B Y T. It works. It, it does. Uh, you can configure it. It's fun. Nice. Yeah, yeah you can you can hook it up. You can put like uh, all different sports stuff, weather. Stock, crypto, whatever you want in there, hmm. you can fire away. Maybe we need fun. another one. Have the weather. Oh yeah, look out! Can, uh, we, can we get ladder props in there? Oh, <laughs> can we custom any? Yes. Oh, let's let's Copy. get let's get our ladder props rotating through there. All right, that'd be amazing. Would you like to go next, CJ? Actually, I I, I I'm not gonna. No, CJ's do, got his yeah, whole theatrics. I'm not gonna do better than CJ. What am I talking about? All right, I was mentioning Patrick Mahomes. I was uh, I try to avoid these sometimes, but this I'm gonna be locked in on this game. And I do think they're going to make a conscious effort to slow down Travis Kelsey with Jalen Ramsey in walks, Mr. Marquez Valdez Scantling, mm-hmm. who once in a while he pops his little head up. He just did it a couple of games ago, 84 yards and a touchdown. His ladder starts at 17 yards, Sean, mm. which is basically a catch minus 110. Then I'm going to skip ahead and we're going to hop back on the ladder at 47 plus 275. 57 plus is plus 425. 67 plus is plus 650. Oh my God. 77 plus 960. Yes. And I am going to go over the top because, again, we don't have anything more than 87 plus, <laughs> yep. but it's plus 1345. Wow. 
for how much? Couple catches in a shootout. He's a big game player, so he's 80, a big game hunter. His his high this season is only eighty four, so he is going to be uh, headed over. Yeah, but but, he, but he's gotten over. So he's gotten over um, the first rung that I gave out once as well. So we're going to roll up the top end of this ladder. We're gonna, we skipped a bunch of the lower rungs. We are going to play seventeen. Mm-hmm. We're going to get in there probably heavy, maybe a half unit, and then I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the half unit ten ten percent at a time up wow. the next five steps. 47, 57, 67, 77, and 87. Woo. I, I gave you and the he's recipe. He's complaining too, which is very European. I like that. He's getting into the, he's getting into the atmosphere <laughs> he, of Europe. You he know? wanted to go see all the sites right. in Germany. Yeah. He's getting very ornery. <laughs> that, that's so funny. Like why uh, I've never heard do you, I can't recall an NFL player complaining about not seeing the sights. Yeah, he wants. Hey, to, he's cultured. Dude. He likes an itinerary, right? What's the point of going over here? I mean, he knows he's not part. Yeah, you know, I mean, so it was for, for the for the competition of who I wanted to play the ladder on. It was Rice or MVS. MVS's ladder was just so much cheaper. Yeah, like it, I mean, it, it looks sturdy. It's but it was the price, was which so is much. what you want to do in a ladder when you're searching for your ladders when you're at Home yeah. Depot, everybody. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. Yeah, you're you looking want, for your lower numbers. Uh, I was actually over at Orchard. I was, I was ah, a bougie. All right, all right, all right. Nice. No big deal. Ryan's, Ryan lives up on the hill with it, with the nice. And Ryan lives. He's uh, he's on top of the hill. You got to get a pretty big ladder. Yeah, to get, get a ladder to just to reach place. there. It's, it's true. In the in the ivory true. tower of uh, Kramer. We actually use the ladders to keep the riffraff <laughs> off, right. off the hill. From We're trying. CJ and I are trying to storm your start, ivory tower. When they start crawling up the hill, it's, I just. <laughs> Yeah, we're just like, trying to chop down your balcony a bit. A little yeah, bit. like the, on, like the good old days when you could keep people in a cave the, or, pour, or pour, pour some hot oil over the yeah. Oh, the scalding acid. <laughs> yes. Oh, the, the guy that volunteered for that job in in the middle in uh, middle ages must have been a sick fuck. All right, like, yeah. all right we're gonna need a uh, one guy to boil uh, oil and pour it on people. All right, yep, I'm in. Does do you, it do you want like a do you want a sword or uh, no, no no? What I'll about a, like a giant axe, one of those mace things? No, just a giant. Hot pot of oil. Uh, yeah, I like watching guys scald to death. I was gonna do that anyway, but sure, if you want to hire me, I, for I think is he also like cooking up some potatoes? Just need some oven some mitts, really. <laughs> yeah, basically, I was gonna say, I'm sure a that guy came with his own sword and axe. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and um, probably I mean fried human. Are we sure it didn't taste? Ooh, bad? there you go. Yeah. Tastes like just like chicken. They say back then, if you're hungry. You're hungry. Oh, okay. right. come on, you're Fuck. you're gonna eat, CJ. Debut of the me. ladder. Whoa. Oh, yes. oh, oh, ladder accident. <laughs> a lot of excitement, a lot of pressure with the ladders. Almost oh, don't want to wow. do a lot. Yeah, though. <laughs> <Can laughs> we should attach them together to make an even bigger ladder. Oh, oh, like, your, oh. like your parlay tickets. Yeah, when you let me put, see, tape them yeah, together. See if you can connect them up. No, no, no. Just put the hooks together. No, no. Put the hooks together. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's got, oh, well, I don't want to bend. Yeah, the, don't don't. We we'll we'll get back to it later. It, hook yeah. your ladder, right, for sure. Last week we gave out Kendrick Bourne, who came out on fire. By oh, the way, Woo. so you thirty-five took, yards and a touchdown, and he tore his ACL. You took the man out of the ladder. He really fell did. out of the ladder. Yeah, he and fell off the ladder. ACL. It's Ste- bad luck to walk underneath the ladder. And that's Ste- what poor, <laughs> that's what I think Belichick must have Stakes done. Stakes are higher when you're playing on the ladder. <laughs> so I'm looking for another ladder. His replacement, by the way, but his his numbers weren't out, so I won't give it out. But Possible ladder, oh, right. ladder fodder. Davis or whatever. Demarius Douglas. Yeah. Douglas, yeah, unbelievable. He's a speech and they want to use it. They want to use him. He's going to have he has like twenty five percent target share. He feels like game. a check down Charlie. And against the skins defense. That's what yeah. I mean. Against that skin second. I wanted to go that, but the numbers aren't out yet, so I don't want to give the people oh. numbers that aren't out. Yeah. Well, I like saying the name out loud. Yeah. Invoke his name so just you can so get we can get, get yeah. the video back later. <laughs> yeah. I got a few of those. Uh, we're gonna go, uh, but we also like to target terrible defenses, and that Indianapolis Colts right now. It's just Bad. an absolutely sieve of a defense, and we're gonna try a rushing ladder this time. Oh, wow, Ooh. this is this is edgy. Yeah, I like that. Carolina, another one of these backs. Uh, Chubba Hubbard oh. after the bye, you got Thomas Bryant. The offensive explosion didn't exactly happen the way <laughs> we were promised with uh, fifteen <laughs> points. Huge, right. huge offense. New look output. offense, but. The team's excited for him. You saw the locker room afterwards. They're rallying right. around this Carolina offense, and now they got a Colts defense coming in that is absolutely horrendous. Uh, m- after the bye week, they decided Chubba Hubbard. He's the main back. Miles Sanders had two carries last week, and uh, I believe he had like fifteen percent or something of the snaps. It's all Hubbard. His to- his regular number is forty-seven. That is absolutely nothing. All we're trying to do is get this guy to a reasonable hundred yards. R.I.P. Miles Sanders. That is reasonable. You know, a reasonable hundred-yard game is all we can do. 
We'll start off, of course, the old get the peanut butter out off the top of the fridge, <laughs> off the jar. Uh, I, I, I sometimes do the post-it notes uh, um. like I do it sideways. I'll, I'll I'll teach you guys how to do the arts and crafts. Yeah, I was gonna say we should do <laughs> a, a, a live stream just yeah. doing arts and crafts. With so that's the sixty-seven. We're gonna go then the bunk bed era. Mm. Seventy-seven yards. Ooh, what's what we're gonna start off this thing? Oh, interesting. Like, it still hurts to fall off a bunk bed. Yeah, it still hurts. Does not so, feel good. So you're up. Uh, you're the, up there a little bit. And seventy-seven yards. That's a plus two eighty. Okay. Wow. That's just a seventy-seven yards. Okay. Now, as we get up to uh, the trip, the, the barracks, uh, we get outside. We start working <laughs> on the gutters. Lights. Yeah, Christmas lights. Yeah, not quite the gutters. Eighty-seven yards at plus four thirty-seven. Okay. Wow. Which is a unique number. These are all bet online numbers, by the way. And now, now we get to the gutters. Ooh. Now things are. Now we get to the roof. We got to do some adjusting. Ninety-seven yards. We're not even at a hundred yet, and we're at plus six sixty. Wow. Found a bunch of avocados in my gutter the other day. You have an avocado tree? Yeah. Man, that man. might explain it. Life, the, na- the neighbor does. Life up in those hills. It sounds incredible. Yeah. That's why we got to keep people off. We got to get up there, CJ. But now we got a kitty up top oh, on this ladder. What's the kitty? The kitty's up here saying, <laughs> Say, help me, Chubba. <laughs> help me, Chubba. <laughs> I think like Garth might have liked the cat yeah. when he saw it earlier. There you go. Um, and so, in order to get to the fireman, uh, the fireman ladder to rescue this kitty, Chubba Hubbard. That's very attainable. 107 yards oh. at 11 to 1. Wow. Plus 1,100 for Chubba Hubbard just to get 100 yards and rescue that kitty out of the tree. There are no kids, cat, cat skeletons in a tree because they get down and we're sending Chubba Hubbard up there with all the chub <laughs> shares versus Adam Cole's <laughs> defense. There it is. Plus 1,100. Tap it off. Save that kitty, Chubba. Love it, and there's uh, your and there's your ladder for uh, a week now. I, I, I like the ladder. Beautiful ladder, <laughs> everything was great. Oh wow. man, thank you very much. That um, I was nervous. And thank, thank you for yeah. thank you for the ladder. It could just be a bird of prey, also that's oh. dealing with the cat. <laughs> right, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that's what happens. Well, the cats it. the cats always chase it up there, and it, without ever thinking of ever getting back down. And then they're, then they're like, oh, well, what happened here? Someone come save me. Like, so yeah. what will what will happen up up in my neighborhood is the hawks will take oh, the wow. cat mm. or the and they'll high drop drop it from high up owls too and then the the coy but the coyotes are onto it and the, they'll snatch the body up when it hits the ground. <laughs> There's some Kramer cats uh, roaming around. There's uh, some serious murdering that happens up there. Uh, DJ's only bet. I I jumped the the gun. I gave out my Tyson Bajan two touchdowns. Uh, sixty-four to one, Kramer. What do you like, DJ and Parlay? All right, so more or less, I'm doing a three-leg round robin. Oh wow! Anytime defensive touchdown. Love it. Wow. So what defenses are leg we one? I always love these. Leg one, we're gonna go uh, to the early window uh, for two games. Ravens. So Geno Smith gives us something special. The Ravens defense scores a touchdown. That's five to one. Then we have the Texans defense against Baker. He seems like he's mm. he's, he's primed. primed. And I do think this Texans defense coming home uh gonna have something a little bit of a show here, which by the way, un- completely unrelated to anything I'm talking about now, but JJ Watt will be in the building for Thursday night football. Uh Texans is eight to one. That's part of the reason it made the card. That is the wrong price when you're taking on Baker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then the third leg, Sean, your Philadelphia Eagles. Let's go. Somehow, go Sean, birds. you should bet this standalone. It's six to one, wow. which is higher than you generally see the Eagles defense yeah. pri- priced. Uh, I mean, though those three, especially since Dax will be fumbling the box, is covered in honey. <laughs> yeah, but which by the Super way, slippery. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't wait to. I mean, this Dak Prescott character. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's almost like Jerry likes it. He like he likes the give and take. Hmm. And now this is this is peak Dak. Everyone he's smelling himself. Everyone's talking about how he's playing well. And then right in the nuts. So yeah, those three: Philly, Houston, and Baltimore. All three hit. Sean, the three legger is three hundred and seventy-seven to one. Mm. Eagles Ravens leg is 41 to one. The, uh, sorry, I'm doing this manually. No, that's incredible. The Eagles the, Baltimore the seems like Eagles a... Texans leg is oh. 62 to one. Almost seems like that should be minus. Wow. Money. 
And the Texans Ravens leg is sorry. Like I said, doing some handcrafted shit over here is 53 to one. Ooh. So, you know, if you were to do this, like Sean does it go a hundred flat across all four. Yep. You're looking at a uh, 37 K plus another 15 K. So what's that? 42 or 52 K. That's not bad. Should we? Yeah. Let's, oh let's uh, might have to put this one in, right? Uh, might have to make a couple phone calls, but make a little outreach <laughs> effort. Oh, talk to a guy about a horse. Wow. <laughs> Uh, CJ, what do you got for a D gens only parlay? Uh, I got a couple. I, I, I'll throw two out there. Cause I, I did tease you to one with that was 37th or 4,000 to one. So yeah, we'll I did. You. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta uh, mention that. So one. I don't want to not mention that. Yeah. But first the two touchdown, quick two touchdown parlay. I mentioned them earlier. Um, Tamron hall, not Tamron hall. Of course I was just Jared. joking. Jared oh, hall, no, Tamron hall is the joke. Um, Jared hall quarterback, two touchdowns. And I'm going back. I gave it out last week. Jamal Williams last week. Now, Taysom Hill was a hater. He's taking it, but I did like what I saw from Jamal Williams. They gave him the well, he had six carries and he averaged five yards a pop, and he looked like he was back. So we all know about Kamara shorthand. You know, I'm just saying these Jamal Williams numbers won't be like this once he does get these touchdowns. You know, he's a touchdown machine. If you do shut down Taysom Hill, then the coaches get frustrated. Kamara can't do it. So yeah, what's up with Taysom Hill ruining your party? Just absolutely hated on us last year. So he said he's back to being three to one for one touchdown, twenty four to one for two touchdowns. So two touchdowns for Jamal, two touchdowns for Hall. That's nine hundred and twenty five to one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Now to four thousand to one. Yes. Two two easy things just have to happen. <laughs> okay. I wanted I wanted to um I'm I'm, I'm a lot of my plays are focused around this <laughs> this one play. Then you could you could add whatever you want to it. That rate that Raiders Giants game is the funniest game I think of oh. of the, of the sl- on the slate. I think I love it. I love everything about it. I can't wait. I, I'm looking more forward to that I think than the Eagles Cowboys. Game. Okay. Um. And the funniest result for that could be for Antonio Pierce in that situation for that game to end in a tie. Yeah. Oh wow. Are you calling for a tie? I'm calling for a tie for that, and I'm oh, also calling wow. if you want to parlay it. What other game could also tie? Maybe get that in there. I'm looking at Packers game. That oh. Packers game could definitely be a tie. I mean, I can see no points being scored at all down there or 10, yeah, 10 like situation. 13, 13 yeah, in if, overtime. If, 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 if that game just gets an overtime, no one scoring in that game, especially there in Lambeau. That well, right there Brian, is Brian 3,700. Brian one. Dable already has a tie under his belt. Yeah, absolutely. They Very play, comfortable they play for, for the tie. tie. They yeah. punt. They punt for the tie. He loves to do the tie. <laughs> and at this point, a tie would be good for morale. Pierce would love to not lose. I guys, love that. Diabolical. So that's close to four thousand to one. <laughs> two games got a tie. Oh like you God. said, two simple things have to Just happen. And times. we are we are that's due. It. We are due right. for some NFL ties. Mm-hmm. We have not had one all season. Yeah. That's it is pretty diabolical. I do respect <laughs> we are the, the tie regression is about to hit yeah. in a huge way. Hopefully uh, we don't miss it mm-hmm. on a Thursday night football. Kramer, is that game markets or uh, okay. <laughs> Kramer, do you want to uh, give out your Sunday night football uh for such chance? Sure. Sweet. I'll put mine in the uh in the Discord, in the Twitter. Well, no, no, pre game show. Pre game show. Oh, pre game show. show. Yeah, it's a good show. spot for him. Uh I can save mine for the pregame show too. All right, yeah. done. Nine a.m. Maybe a little earlier. Maybe great, a little later. Great tease for the pregame show. Yeah, and we, we that is. That's that's well, profe- six, that six professional a, right there. Yeah. Nine a.m. on the uh, in the East Coast. Six a.m. on the West Coast. Thirty minutes before kickoff in the yeah. Germany game. Um, the Premier League guys wow. will be live on the Premier League Gambling Podcast feed. Uh, Seven a.m. Pacific. Ten a.m. on the East. NFL gambling podcast, moon off. And mm. probably I'm guessing Lante, maybe someone else will be there. And then of course the fantasy lounge is open at 8 AM on the West coast over at the SGPN fantasy YouTube channel. So lots of content by oh, us so much for you and make sure you subscribe to the bottom line bombs podcast, YouTube channel. Follow uh, CJ Sullivan over on X at CJ Sullivan. Coming on next, so everyone in the chat room, not just subscribe, watch it. Coming on like in ten minutes. Yes, bottom line bombs. It will. uh, Yeah, check it out. Don't miss it. If you just sit here, you'll actually get sent over. Yes, you have to do anything. Just sit back. Just stay tuned. We do all the work. We get the ladders. We climb the ladders, and we ship. We shoot you on down to the bottom line bombs. We transport you. (laughs) Transport for participating in the sports gambling podcast.
for the Sports Gaming Podcast. I'm Sean at Second Money Green. He's Ryan. Awesome show, Sean. Kramer, let it ride.